guys, I'm Amanda, and today I'm going to do my first unboxing of a Hamptons Lane box. Uh, this is for their gourmet picnic, and I bought it for $39 off of Guilt City. Uh, it's like a, a living social Groupon type deal, and then normally it's $47. And so each month they come up with different um, boxes. So this was the gourmet picnic, but they also had Italy, um, summer cocktail, and right now they have an ice cream one. Let's go ahead and open this up. And the first thing I'm going to pull out is the information card. Um, so let's, you can see the gourmet picnic. And the, on the side here, I just want to point out, um, one of the items uh, leaked all over the packaging and got onto this as well. And then on the inside, it shows every single item that's in the box and a little bit about it. And then what I do like is on the back for the food item, it gives you a recipe to try with it. So I do like that because sometimes it's hard for me to get an item and I'm not really a chef or good at cooking so to whip something up. So I did appreciate that. So the first item is the American Tote. And this is one of the items that I was looking forward to the most from the box just because I like the fact that, so it is a wine tote. It holds um, 750 milliliters of wine, which is a bottle of wine, water or beverage. And so I like it that it's um, like incognito so when you're sipping on your wine uh, at a picnic you can't people other people can't tell but what I do not like about it is I thought it was going to be uh, movable because of these things right here and I'm going to be able to pop it out and give this a good wash but you can't when I pulled out the instructions from it it just says to clean it with um, soapy water with warm soap and water and then to dry it on a um, dishwasher rack like this so that just makes me worry um, about how clean it is. So I like to be able to see the whole thing, make sure that all the stuff is cleaned out. Um, the next item, this is what ended up exploding all over, was the mustard. Uh, this is called Mints, um, M-E-A-U-X mustard, and it's named after where it's made in France. So this is what it looks like, and it was sealed when I got it. I um, wanted to take a look at it to see um, how bad the spill was. So this is what the mustard looks like. It's very interesting. The packaging is really cute though. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat it because it spilled all over my um, box. So I'm just not sure um, if it's safe to eat it. I couldn't find anything about saying it has to be refrigerated after opening. So I think it's still good to go. But yeah, that was a bummer when the packaging just has a spill all over your box. The next item was the custom olive wood and carbon steel knife. Um, this is from Paralis Solsona, and this is made in Spain. So this is what the knife looks like. The blade is about the length of my hand. And what I thought was interesting was, one, that they had a knife. I thought they were going to put it in the packaging because it's a picnic thing. So when I go on a picnic, I'm not going to just toss this knife into a box. Like It would be nice if it came with a protective um, cover for the blade just to make it more uh, picnic ready. So I'm just gonna throw this in my kitchen because I have lit, I have knives that have that protection over it so it'd be easier for me to take on a picnic. But we'll see how well this does. And then the packaging just came in this. So maybe put like a warning, just, I don't know. I mean, I guess I know that there's a knife in there. I just didn't know it was um, not gonna have the blade covered. The next item is this steak and onion jam that's made in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm not really quite sure about the flavor combination, but I'm excited to give it a try. Um, this has sweet onions, figs, rosemary, balsamic vinegar, orange zest, and spices. So that sounds really good. Um, and I'll try the recipe on the back with this one for sure. Um, but I'll probably toss it on toast right now and see how that one tastes. And the last item, I'm really actually excited for this one. It's called the Backyard Brine. It's a homemade artisan pickles. And it's made in New York. It's a sweet heat, jalapeno bread, and butter. So this is what the packaging looks like, and then this is what the pickles look like. And this summer I've been really into hot uh, pickles, and normally I don't like pickles, but I've been giving them a try. So I'm excited to add this one to the list of pickles I've tried this summer. And then one of the things I was really disappointed in too is on the site, um, these boxes are not as priced, so you know exactly what you're going to get. And it says on the site, you're going to get contents and deals um, from Murray's Cheese Shop. So this is what it looked like. So I thought it was going to come with some cheese. No, it comes with a discount for 15% off 
of the store. So I'm not going to order cheese online, especially if I've never tried it. Um, so I'll put the, well, the deal is 15% off and it's called HL, um, 2014 and the H and L are capitalized. So if you guys want the deal, it's from, um, Murray's cheese shop in New York, New York. And so they say that they partnered with Murray's cheese shop, the oldest cheese shop in New York and a landmark destination in historical Greenwich village to bring you the Cinco meter and summer cheese and wine pairing. No picnic is complete without fine cheeses and in the cheese craze at Murray's. Every cheese is ripe to perfection. So thanks for the coupon, but you shouldn't advertise it as a big part of the box. So that's my complaint. So I probably won't get another Hampton Lane box uh, for the price. Um, but I hope this was some help for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video.